Good morning. If you want to see how we made this uh, nice little uh, guinea pig cage with collapsible top, stay tuned because that's what we're going to do today. Good morning. Welcome to another uh, Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 245. You know, we've done 200 and we've done 245 videos uh, on Memphis Monday. It's kind of hard to come up with a new project, but today we definitely have a new project. Guinea pig cages, uh, pens. Uh, I, I didn't even know how to spell guinea pig, but uh, you know, I put in G-E-N-N-Y and naturally that didn't work. Nutri uh, Systems 195, but let's uh, knock off the chit chat and get to work. You know, when you do these off the wall projects, you gotta, you know, I'm always concerned that I'm not gonna get my friend exactly what they asked for, so whenever possible, I like to draw a picture right in front of them. Then, for my own use, I like to draw a picture, a little neater picture of what I think this thing is going to look like. Then I uh, convert that little picture into a, you know, a, uh, the project. In, in our case, we're kind of lucky because I'm going to make two of these things, and so I made one as a prototype. The, um, it's really a, a two-part deal. The table por portion here, and then the lid. And the lid's going to be split down the center so that you can lift it up to uh, get at the critters. And then the screen, you buy this uh, separately in these 11 inch square pieces. Okay, first thing we're going to work on is the table. I started here, I've made the tabletop, which is just a piece of uh, exterior plywood with some trim around the edge and made our table jig. A couple weeks ago we we made another table and I went into detail on how to make the table jig and this and that. So if you want to know how to make the table jig and all that business you can go back. Okay what we're uh, go back just a couple of weeks. Um, what we're going to do now is make the frame pieces. Now making this table a little bit different than a lot of the tables we made. Um, I'm using these two by threes for the frame. Uh, usually I use, um, you know, a one in, uh, three quarter inch stock, but this is an inch and a half, twice as thick. So I've had to make some new jigs and stuff, and I'll show you those as time goes on. I'm going to stain everything as I go. I didn't uh, do that on the prototype. And there's just so much surface area, so many parts that staining the whole thing all at one time was, wasn't very pleasant. Now it's just a matter of putting the uh, frame in place with these pocket screws already uh, already stained, so I don't have to do that. Well, next thing is the corner blocks. They go in. They look like this and they go in this corner. Okay, here you can see the stock is trapped in this jig right here. Now look, my hands are nowhere near it. I'm way down here. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm way down here. 
and I'm going to cut that thing off and I'm going to be two or three feet away from that saw when the whole thing goes down. this table will be extra strong so I'm uh, putting pocket screws down through the block so it'll be held this way also uh, sometimes you see that on extra heavy tables now if you want to if you want to build a, a table frame, I didn't really show you how to do it this time, but in Memphis Monday 243, I went into some detail. So now I'll take the table frame off and we can worry about the legs. Okay, here's a stock for the legs. I'm making the, uh, making the legs out of Douglas, Douglas fir. Now what we have to do is taper these two inside edges. In uh, Memphis Money 243, I think we used a table, a tapering jig that looks something like this. But obviously that's not gonna work for these larger legs. So I had to make a new one, which is no problem because they're real easy to make. i show you in 243 how to make one. Put your, put your wood in there at an, at an angle. Um, I don't know if you strictly need these clamp downs, but I put some clamp downs here. Then just run it through your saw. Okay, now I've run it through one, one time and didn't there's still a little edge there it's not cut because my blade's not tall enough but unclamp it flip it flip it under where the, the cut portion is there clamp it down again and now I'll run it through again now when I take it out of the clamp I should get three wedges big wedge and then there's a smaller wedge and now we have to cut remember that one that one cut we made didn't go all the way through we'll do that on a bandsaw just like we did on the other parts so when we get this thing together it'll already be stained okay, I got those uh, legs cut out now we have another problem you can see this giant knots in the wood let me show you how to fix that now what I do is I keep a a deal of real fine sand dust uh, sawdust in a container it says uh, West Systems Low Density Filler but I just keep sand sawdust in this container and then I mix it with 
epoxy okay then I've uh, put some tape up around my repairs and you put some of this peanut butter consistency stuff down in the holes I always make too much and I put too much in the try to fit too much in the in the gouge this does very difficult to uh, sand very strong And here's what those repairs look like. Kind of blends in. You know, unless you look look real close, you just think they're knots. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and install these legs, and I'll show you. We're going we're going to do something special on these. So um, let's jump ahead a little bit. This is what I want to show you. Normally, we put these legs on put a what's called a hanger bolt into the leg and then it's got the lag bolt side that goes into the leg and then it's got the regular threads on the other end where you screw you tighten it down tighten the leg down but you don't have to do it that way if you have a you know a heavy-duty table like out in your shop or it's going to be used outside or it's going to be used for some heavy work take a big old heavy bolt this is a 3 8 inch 6 inches long galvanized bolt that goes all the way through the leg and comes out over here and then it's tightened down so this thing is bulletproof well we got our table finished now it's time to move on to the top. Um, the great feature of this thing is you can lift it up to uh, service the inside of the cage. So let's talk about this uh, top. This is the uh, trim we put on the table. And this trim is, is one by material that just butted right up to the edge of the plywood we're going to do it somewhat differently on the uh, top we have to make the top out of some lighter material because it's going to be open and closed but the problem is this half inch plywood or any thin plywood is you know it's at the mercy of the weather and it's going to bow you can see the bow in it so we need to stiffen this. Now we could just put regular edging on it like this. And this would tend to stiffen it a little bit. But we're going to do it one better. And I made this stock here with the half inch dado in it. And we're going to thread that onto the edge here and that will give us maximum uh, maximum stiffness I got the trim all around it and that flattened it out nicely now we need to uh, put two uh, windows in the top uh, let's talk about that Our prototype you can see the windows we're talking about they're just holes cut in the top with this uh, screen wire stapled in there and then this trim put around the edge so here I'm just gonna go around and cut out that hole Now what I'm doing here is 
just stapling the uh, stapling the screen wire in there. Then I'll smooth it out a little bit around the edges and put this trim around it like that. I'm going to go ahead and stain our top before I cut it in two. So I'll go ahead and stain this and I'll show you how we're going to turn it into a two-piece two lid. Well, all I got to do now is cut this thing in two and add some hinges and we'll be done. Last step is to put the um, hinges on. I've got to let it. I got to let the um, stain dry before I put any polyurethane on it. Then the whole lid is now hinged at the at the center right there so I guess we're about done well that does it for uh, Memphis Monday 245 built two large guinea pig cages with hinged tops and we got uh, heavyweight tables that are guaranteed for thousand years so I think uh, I think we did okay well that does it for another Memphis Monday Memphis Monday 245 week 37 uh, boy we are looking for uh, new and unique projects and I think we sure did uh, find one here um, I think the takeaways were the uh, perhaps the table um, those tables with that six inch bolt running through uh, each one of the legs makes those tables uh, practically indestructible. Um, you know, certainly uh, would be suitable for an outdoor table or, you know, even a table, uh, an expansion table for Thanksgiving dinner or something. Also, uh, I showed you that uh, edge banding we put around that top to fix the flex in that uh, half inch plywood and overall I think we uh, we did all right like favorite share comment and all the stuff you do on the internet but most important what is it make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday thanks for playing along